A rather easy conversation on social square. We're talking about relationships in the 21st century. Yep. How much is too much? How far do you go? And how much do you explain to your online in-laws in the event something goes wrong? How much do you even share? Yes. Do you even want to share in the first place? That is actually the question we're bringing up. Should you share your love life on social media? That is the question we're asking you this morning. Should you share your love life on social media? You know from where I come from, that statement is very hard to maintain. Do you want me to it from Should there? you share your, uh, <laughs> <laughs> your love life on social media? <laughs> but you get what I mean. <laughs> so, 224 2 is the SMS line at Trevor Bidget Citizen TV Kenya at Zinzi underscore K. Hashtag Daybreak. We'll introduce our guests in just a bit. They'll introduce themselves and tell you their titles because we use stage names. Yeah. Um, first name basis. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Is that so where we start? Yes. Great. Let's, let's begin from Mr. Masinde. Okay. Even as you introduce yourself, sir, tell us, would you share your love life with social media? <laughs> okay. Uh, my name is Dan Masinde. I'm a relationship and marriage counselor. Mm -hmm. And yes, I do share. My marriage uh, with my to my wife the online. Yes, yes. She has it on yes. Social she's media. a beautiful Akel Oliet. Actually, in fact, for me, whatever it is I post, I love to tag her, mm. and we do a lot of that because we also do purpose and ministry together. Mm. And so, when you love someone privately, it just manifests publicly. Wow! Yeah. Hey, that's a tweet over there. When you love someone privately, privately it manifests, manifests publicly. Yeah. Hey. 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 This has started on a high note. Love is beautiful. Love yeah. is beautiful, and beautiful things are not hidden. Wow! Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my name is Kabiwa Jesus. I'm a social media influencer and uh, a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. I'm also married to one wife and I share a lot on social media. You know, you want to ski a place that you are your suit. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's. That's it. And Mili Mili Wakabi. Jesus is my lovely wife. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And she's yeah. actually here and with and us. And together as well. we are the Wajizas family. Wow. Uh, yes. Beautiful. Yeah. DNG. Yes, um so my name is DNG. I'm an entertainer. I'm a, a media personality, radio and television. I run an agency called 254 Entertainment. Okay. And I recently founded an initiative called Punguza that's talking about responsible sexual behavior, uh, rights and access to health facilities. Um yes, um in the past I've shared my relationship uh, status or my partner on social media I'm, I'm not averse to it in any way I do believe like you know being a celebrity being a, a public figure everybody wants to know who are you dating who are you seeing who are you with so it comes with the territory in the past would you do it in the now? past yes I, you know even my current relationship I've posted photos if you just go to my Instagram DNG Kenya scroll down <laughs> <laughs> yeah most of the, my recent posts are just about my work and my campaign yeah. but obviously based on an, an experience you know the, I'm not totally have asked to it but it's also a point of note that you know you need to be careful because uh, a lot of people use what you love most against you mm. Mm. what you love most using what you love most against hey, you the other one was if it if it loves someone privately it shows in the public okay I'm <laughs> of all these instagram captions go yeah. ahead <laughs> well I'm, I'm dominic i'm the dean of student students at tangaza where i don't know where that came <laughs> from dean of students at tangaza and i'm a lecturer of psychology there and uh, most of TV host somewhere. Now, um, would I share? Uh, not at this moment. I don't think uh, I would share my relationship until I put a ring on it. Mm. So I think when you, only when you can feel comfortable to predict the pathway of a relationship should you put it in, a, in, the, in the social media because I have seen often times where people post their relationship mm -hmm. and then uh, it doesn't work two months later and now you have to go back and delete from the very first one. So, <laughs> uh, so that's what I would say. But is, is that ring then a guarantee of how your relationship is going to be because you've also seen people put rings on it and mm -hmm. splash it on social media mm -hmm. and then things go south? Well, definitely. Uh, since, you see, when, when you marry someone else, you're marrying someone with a will and intellect, people who can make their own choices. And they, so to a certain extent, you cannot fully predict the choices of another person right so that's what i'm saying until like i have a certain guarantee of human predictability that i can say well now we have decided that we are two horrible human beings but we have decided to stay together and the only way we are sure that we are going to stick together is we are going to chain each other all right and on the guarantee that you will not run away when you realize that i have a thousand skeletons that what marriages so that's what i'm, I'm talking about and until i am able to say that at, uh, to a point of human predictability i may not want to put it on social media and i do not think it's necessary to put it there unless maybe you are like the gentlemen here who are in a way trying to model good marriage so they are using their experience to model good marriage which is a good thing uh, so i would i would kudos to them 
Diane, isn't that where the main problem is then? Yes. Because we have this perception that the, what we show on social media is the best marriage life ever. Mm. But sometimes that's not the reality. So are we lying to ourselves or lying to the people who follow us? Okay, uh, as a counselor, one of the things that I actually found out is that a lot of people actually are hurting privately. Yeah. But then on the outside, they're showing a very, very glossy side. So there's this, it's almost a competition to just show that things are good. For some, not for others, not, not for everybody. But then there are those who just naturally just celebrate. Because as I said, the people that you even have, you have on your social media tend to be already in your circle. So they already know you two are together. So it's not like a surprise, like, oh, okay, when they see a photo, like, oh my goodness, uh, no, no, they already know that you two are together. So whenever you get to do some, some, some instances, there's some who you, you go for a safari, you want to show something. And for, back in the days, we saw photo albums, a physical thing. Nowadays, yeah. our social media is a is photo mm -hmm. album. Mm -hmm. So you just want to document. And may I also say this, that sometimes we need to remember that love is a risk. It's a risk. Every single time, even for me and my wife, it's a risk that we're doing. You never know how tomorrow is going to unfold, but it's a risk. And it's a worthwhile risk that you've chosen to take. And whenever a risk, when you do something that's risky, of course, you don't know how things are going to play out. But even if things don't work out, you are entitled to have the desire to love. You have loved and all those particular things. And so there's no shame in that. Mm -hmm. There's no shame in t something has gone wrong yeah. and um, the people around you in your circle, hopefully they, they love you. And if you don't, if you, the Facebook friends that you have or the Instagram followers that you have are not for you, then really why are you over there And with I was them, coming you know? to that. Yes. The same way you're entitled to love again. Yes. Your internet in-laws yes are they also not entitled to when you break up to get you some come closure back, uh -huh, where you're going for christmas if it comes from a place of care if it comes from a place of care because of course uh, you have those people who whenever something wrong goes on in your relationship or marriage they're like hey what happened you two are such a wonderful couple together like sometimes they can even mitigate they can even come and be the mediator to help you to come back together Internet in laws it's some of them <laughs> that's what i'm saying check the people that you are, uh, that you allow first mm. of all in your very close and circle and then even as you extend mm. now once you start going to the place where now you you open it up to the public uh, let's say you can be a, a public or something like that of course now you'll have people who want to have a certain opinion opinion about that right but you have to you have to have a tough skin because right. there are a lot of voices in this world speaking right know what to listen dng how much is too much i think first and foremost uh, we make social media so complex for me it's not um i share what i want to share because i'm having fun i'm living my life so if if as, he, as someone is saying you know you're traveling on a safari you know having a holiday that's when most of the times you'll see me with my special person mm. you know my partner and and you know i don't think we should overthink like should i post this photo because if i post this photo <laughs> who's gonna hate on me who's gonna complain what if we break up tomorrow will i have to delete it don't take it too seriously mm -hmm. social media should not be taken too seriously mm -hmm. and i agree to some extent that a lot of people who are on your social are not your friends mm -hmm. especially when your page is pr uh, public and there are so many people you know following you you know we celebrate the number of followers we have like i have 250 000 mm -hmm. followers on different platforms mm -hmm. combined and and i know 100 percent that all those are not my friends or my fans some of them are just haters some of them are just curious so they're the first who will re screenshot or re you know say Ude malienda wapi? Yeah. Ona sasa? Yeah. when there's an so, issue so dng here you are you're a public personality hence mm. where you can say that you can you're able yeah. to share these things so what if your spouse whoever it is you're dating it has a private life and she would rather per maintain a private life yeah. then you go post a picture and then tag her like now let me tell you like before uh, my my current partner and i went public mm -hmm. like we're dating or we're together mm -hmm. in fact i told her of all the consequences of us uh, declaring our relationship in public so right. i walked her through that journey like these are all the scenarios people will tell you stuff about me people will tell me stuff about you that I, I don't really care about and all that so by the time we were uploading that photograph it was with her consent and she's the one who wanted to mark her territory so she allowed yeah. her <laughs> Okay. Okay. Kabi, is it the same thing for you? Kabi, uh, like, do you tag your when you're uploading your videos or and your pictures? Do you tag your wife? Do you at her? They're always together. I, yes. actually. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, the first time I I told her because I I was already on social media. I was for me it was about purpose in spreading the gospel of mm. Christ. <laughs> So I was already there and I was doing things. By the time she was coming into my life, she knew that I post a lot. Mm. 
but he was not comfortable as you said mm. uh, during the first first instances to be online but then again she realized that this is not just about us it is a ministry because you'll find people just telling us you know you guys inspire us you you help us and know that marriage actually works that young people can be in love you know just sparking that conversation of love and I think that is what got her into the space because now we understood it's not just about us, it's about ministry. So how do you differentiate between a post that is personal and a post that is ministry based? Every post is ministry. Uh, last year, sometime back uh, last year, we were just posting and then we realized what are we doing because we just took like a month of social media and we prayed about it because we were feeling like we are tired. We want to get out of this space. We don't understand. Yes, people are getting encouraged, but sometimes it feels like it's a lot of work. You have to post this and that. That is when we went back and we prayed about it and we understood that now this is ministry. Yeah. So we have to pray for every post that we are, we are making. We have to make sure that it is impacting someone. But do you, do you sometimes feel the pressure of painting this picture of a glossy relationship because yes. we never see when there's a bit of a tussle yeah. between the two of you. There's actually a video, two videos we've done when uh, we were we argued a little bit on, on camera, but I know most of the time that would be cut out. But we just said, let's just leave it there mm -hmm. so that people can see that we actually argue. Yeah. But we do not have any pressure because what we show, what we what you see is what we get. Mm -hmm. So we are just in love. We are just happy. And sometimes I get people asking us, so why, are you, do, why don't you post those moments where you're fighting? Guys, it's we don't like fight fight. <laughs> we just disagree. Yeah. And when we disagree, we always come together and agree. Mm -hmm. So I we don't really get the pressure of trying to show an image that it is not us because that's us. So okay. that one month that you you did not post anything, mm -hmm. were your in laws like Mkwapi? Hey. 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 My, my friend <laughs> <laughs> first of all we started by my my my, my love was sick. So to leave tulikuwa tumeanza kwanza na kaugonjwa so tuka slow down ku post and then we went completely silent so people are saying she's pregnant mm. okay hey, kwani mlipata mtoto eh hey, twabieni eh hey, amuta tubeba hivyo hey. <laughs> but that didn't really push us because during this time we had intentionally decided to stay off and just understand what it is that we have and after that we came in we opened our youtube channel now we were ready to come full force because we knew this thing is not for us mm. so even if you feel the pressure god to put your pressure to end it but all right and dominica there's something dng brought out which i found very interesting marking your territory mm -hmm. yeah at what point that does not now become almost unhealthy yeah. because mm. there's also when another person comes into your life and sometimes you're still healing from the previous one then they're like how come mimi uni post will go na post ule mwingine mbona unipeleka ngi penye ule mwingine mko mnaenda and you're thinking how do you now balance the two yeah it, it's first of all it's interesting we don't have a female here because you know we go we, we go <laughs> to social Sigo media for uh, Lilia Sigo is a Juakalia uh, yeah. spouse and Juakalia as well uh -huh, okay, okay. Late. because uh, with the, it would be interesting to find out that often times we go to social media as men and women for different reasons eh? yeah. so First of all, I'm looking at the intention. Why do I want to post on social media, all right? Do I want my, you know, as we say in a publication, do I want my spouse to be peer reviewed, all right? Because th that could be the reason. I want, how do you, how, how good do you make me look when, I, when people see that you are my girlfriend, all right? Or you are my wife, okay? Mm. Is that the reason? So if I post my girlfriend and I get 50 likes, all right? Or 1,000 likes, that means my, my girlfriend has been, has been approved. Peer reviewed. Okay, peer yeah. reviewed, all right? Yeah. So <laughs> is, is, that, is that the reason, okay? Yeah. Because I could be asking my, uh, the special person in my life to post me on social media from a point of insecurity, mm. and that's not a good thing. Okay, mm. so why are you posting me on social media? Is it because I want the others to know that you belong to me or I don't trust you? Mm. Right, so that what's the intention? Yeah. What is trusting? And what is wrong with making others know that you belong to me? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. What is wrong is, do you trust me? Okay, so that's uh -huh. the, for me the starting point. Are you posting because of, so he, he posts his wife on social media, right? Mm -hmm. does, uh, does she require that, oh, let me use a DNG example because he said that, all right? Mm -hmm. Allow me to use your example, right? So his girlfriend says, please post me because I want others, you know, I want to mark territory. Yeah. But now what's the starting point? Is it because she thinks because DNG is quite a popular person, has a quite uh, an array mm. of 
blonde uh, of, of options, huh? <laughs> right? So I need to mark the territory. I, I'm marking the territory so that yeah. those ones may know that she is taken. And that's why we do marriage in public. One of the reasons we do it in public is that mm. so that you actually show that this person belongs to me and I need your support in loving this person. All right. So, but now what's the starting point of the girlfriend? I don't trust DNG. All right. <laughs> I am not the first person in his life. So I need, to be, I need to be sure that, you know, I'm putting him on the spot where he's going to make it increasingly difficult for him to cheat on me. Now, that's something wrong, you know? So that's what I would argue on that, on that perspective. I doubt if that's the argument because DNG has to get a right of response to this. <laughs> yo, it's hard to speak on her behalf. Eh? But yo, it's, it's so love, like... But, but you don't exactly refuse the array of yeah, options. but, that, you know, that, for that sure, you know, women are very... Um, no offense, eh? But women are very... I don't know if this is the word to use, but insecure. Insecurity is... is That's in, a general it, comment. In general. <laughs> general <laughs> not subjective. It's general. But, you know, it's... I think even men, we it's, are... It's, it's actually... We are talking about how they are going to be. They are going to be. They are going So it's the way it is. And, and that's not a bad thing. I, I don't think we should take it uh, negatively. Um, when a woman... They say that when a woman is, is a bit jealous about you, she cares about you. If she's bringing up issues like, who is this chick, who is this chick, it's because she's concerned, yeah. in my opinion. And that's what I've heard before. And, and that's cool for me to know that my spouse is, is, is a bit jealous of, of any other woman or she wants to be territorial and mark her territory. I think it's cool. I find it cute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but like, I'm, I'm good to go. Yeah, Dan, what do you think? <laughs> When you're, when you're in a relationship, there's the number one thing that you look for is clarity. Yeah. Who are we? Mm. And usually that's why even ladies tend to ask men, who are we? Who are we? Are where we? is this relationship what going to? Hey. Where, what, are this, sir? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> it's because there's a need of clarity. Once you get the clarity, then you, you invest. Mm. You know, as, as an investor, you want to know, okay, are we going to make a good investment yeah. over here? This, that's yeah. what you do in business. Same mm. thing in relationship. Once there's clarity, then you invest. Mm. And sometimes clarity is sought by how do you treat me in public? Right. You know, whether it's online or offline, how do you treat me in public? Because mm. sometimes you can be so good to the person privately you yeah. know i love you sweet sweet stuff and whatnot publicly hey i don't even know you mm. online or offline you know so that that now puts a dent on on, on the dent on on, on uh, clarity and now when social media is an extension of ourselves yeah. it's an extension of ourselves it's pretty much who you are in your extension and i i you choose to either show what it is that you share of course some people share a lot some people share to some according to some people's opinion too much yeah. others don't share at all some people actually just have social media accounts to do, just go and read news yeah. and the last time they posted was 2014 yeah. <laughs> yeah. and that's 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 okay that's yeah. okay there's no shame in that but then also what's happening also privately on social media like in your dms what's going on over there mm. because sometimes once you start seeing somebody's not even celebrating you uh, on social media now you start to wonder what's going on in this person's dm because because now you're not even saying that you're with somebody. Mm -hmm. So what if, what if one side says yes. that they don't want to be posted on social media? Is that sometimes just a test? Because there's a friend of mine who told yes. me before that the girlfriend told him not to post her, but when he actually did not post her, she yes. was upset. It uh, could be that maybe they're on two different levels of certainty. Yeah. It could be that, or it could be just personal preference. Mm. Just personal preference. So, and that, so you, should yeah, that be taken yeah, into you consideration? Don't take that, look at it into context. So yeah. have a conversation ar around that. Don't just focus on that one particular aspect. Look at how the person treats you also in other areas, privately and publicly, online and offline. And sometimes also, for example, you see somebody who meets up with Trevor and then takes a selfie with Trevor, posts a selfie with Trevor, but then no photo of you. What do you start to think? That Trevor is more important you're more inclined to our celebrities you're proud of being with a celeb but not with me mm. and so somebody starts to feel like okay so those people are, impo are important to you than, than than i am and as i said you know we tend to celebrate what is important for, for us mm. if you're an arsenal fan we start seeing you posting arsenal over there if you love your if you love cakes you start seeing you posting cakes over there if you love your partner then automatically or naturally people will tend to see you posting that particular thing and when, when it comes to for example what, uh, uh, what he said like posting even the the, the struggles of marriage Social media also, we tend to gravitate towards people who are real. 
You know, that's why we love couples who are real, who actually say, you know, yesterday my, I, I learned a lesson. And when you learn a lesson, you want to share it with the people. For, for example, that's what I do. When I learn a lesson about marriage, I want to share it with people. Why? I don't want to be the only one who enjoys marriage. Mm. I also want other people to learn because why should I have this wonderful truth that I have known and then keep it to myself, yet it can actually impact somebody. And I don't do it even for fame or for likes or whatnot. It's just because I found a wonderful truth. Please allow me to share it with you. If you want to read it, well and good. If not, it's okay. No harm in that. But I'm actually celebrating and enjoying my marriage. And I hope other people are doing the same because, you know, a relationship or marriage is something that you willingly walk into. Right. And you willingly stay. So it's up to you. If you've chosen to go in there, yeah. hopefully 100%, and you're with somebody who also is in 100%, and you enjoy it. When you enjoy it, it's good. Okay, okay. we need yeah. to take a commercial break. But before we do that, let's take a look at feedback. And remember, this morning we're asking you, would you share your love life on social media? Would you share your love life on social media? At Citizen TV <laughs> Kenya. At Trevor Mbija, <laughs> Okay, um, on SMS double two four double two. In case you need more characters to make sure um, you should sort of get your answers. Do we have the feedback? And there we go. Bring them up and see sharing deep secret. That's Engineer Lazaro, a very ardent view of the show. He says sharing deep secrets of your private love life on social media can sometimes work against you. The world is full of tan courts and secret admirers. Okay. All right. Um, SMS double two four double two. Remember that's where you can find us. Tell us your name and where you're watching from. Just like Martin, who's watching from CIA. Good morning. You say sharing love life um, in media isn't a bad thing, but the intention of sharing. And the content shared matters. If you share for encouragement and support of other relationships that might be going through storms, then it's a good intention. All right, let's see another one here. Nixon from Kindaruma says, relationships are harder now because conversations become texting, arguments become phone calls, and feelings become status updates. <laughs> All right, that's an interesting conversation. Instead of now just talking about the issues you're facing, you take it online. But let's take that break. We'll come back and talk about that in just a bit. Welcome back. Modern day relationships and how they look like. Remember this morning we are asking you on social media. Would you share your love life on social media? At Citizen TV Kenya, Trevor Mpij at Zinzi underscore K. Um, Masinde, let me begin with you. Let me come back with you. There you go. There is our Twitter poll question this morning. So, question is, you know you talked about the DMs. Yes. I saw that. Yes. I picked on that. Yes. Is it okay to give your partner access to your DM and vice versa? access to your DM. Uh, personally, for my, for my wife and I, we have access to each other's DM, uh, accounts. Mm -hmm. That's for us. You know, mm -hmm. we choose that because sometimes she could be somewhere and uh, she, uh, she needs something to be attended to, and I can easily do that. Mm -hmm. And now, you see, she hasn't done anything that makes me suspicious so that I can actually go like, mm -hmm, I'm going to go and check. Because she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And even when you go through her inboxes, you can see some men still trying. You're mm -hmm. like, you guys. <laughs> you see over there, she said, married to Dan Masinde. And they're still over there, hey, you're so beautiful. They, they even, you're like, what is going on with you? But I don't, I don't get scared of that. I'm a very secure guy. Yeah. And also, she's also allowed uh, me to be secure by how she treats me. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I need to say this, that there's a lot of people who have, who have catfish accounts mm -hmm. where they have either, they, they, they have pseudo, pseudo names and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. for fishy reasons in mm -hmm. a relationship. Where there's one where they will post the family photos. Look at us together with my spouse, with the kids. <laughs> kids are growing up. But then there's another one uh -huh. for now sliding into the DMs. Uh -huh. And now that's where they now go and start talking like, you know, what they, they tell a lady I like your thighs or I like mm -hmm. your whatnot, and then they do all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Eh? Mm -hmm. So that other account mm -hmm. is from Chezo. Mm. So there's, a, there's one for the real family, like, mm -hmm. yeah, we are together, and mm -hmm. then there's the other one for, for, for yeah, just we, playing yeah. around. Dominic, how do you tell your spouse? Uh, you're sharing too much like mm -hmm. just bring it down a notch yeah like you're sharing too much mm -hmm. how do you well how do you say it and how do you tell them in a respectful way that see, you know uh -huh. just calm down uh -huh. yeah see one of, there's something he mentioned when we were offline about communication right yes. and uh, one of the things that you want to do is to w to handle conflict before they turn into war mm -hmm. and what i see sometimes in couples is they avoid the conflict and then what happens is that turns into war so you want to deal with the small conflicts because they are important they mm -hmm. help to, to clear things now i would say this when you are married to somebody you don't want to be winning every battle mm -hmm. okay so you don't want to stay in the same house with the person you're constantly beating True. okay so uh, for us men we like facts and we oftentimes we like to reason but oftentimes women interpret those facts through feelings through emotion so uh, as a man i could simply lay the facts in front of my woman right but i do not care about how she feels about those you know those emotions i mean those uh, those facts so how do you communicate to her about you are sharing too much you know so there is what you call assertive speaking so the first thing you say is when 
you share this much mm -hmm. it makes me feel this way and i would suggest that we talk about it okay don't lay down the law in the very beginning of the conversation initiate a conversation initiate a conversation i see that you like to share that makes me a little bit uncomfortable all right what can we do about it where can we get a middle ground because uh, relationships about compromises about synergies about getting to the you know getting to the place where we can live together mm. realizing that both of us we have certain weaknesses and we we hate them all right mm. but so much as you're trying to tolerate i'm trying to tolerate you you also trying to tolerate me right so that's what i would say find the middle the ground problem really is uh. even though as you're finding the middle ground yeah. you're sharing and speaking mostly it's not what is said it's mm. what is hard mm. because when you say that then what you hears is that then what are you trying to hide mm. are you not proud of me what mm. are you trying to cover mm. is it not true because there are certain things she says are you trying are you doing the same thing with somebody else i mean why why are you so uncomfortable mm. with it mm. so let's first of all go let's do a bit of history here so we come from families and the families that we come from determine a very big way in in psychology we call it at attachment theory all right so in attachment theory what happens is how we are loved at the families that we grow up in determines in a large way and do not ignore that for god's sake don't ignore how much where you have grown in, uh, you know affects you so there are kind of three four kinds of way of attaching the first one is secure so you grew up in a family where the affection from your parents was sure you were sure you would get it but then there's another kind which you call anxious so that sometimes you'd be loved sometimes you'd be punished so you are never sure when the next uh, you know affection would come so you grow up becoming anxious the side the third one is avoidant you are constantly rejected you are punished you are never said anything good so your psychology becomes some avoiding so you avoid because you are sure you'd be rejected so you avoid and the fourth one is a mixture of anxious and avoidant now people who grew up in a in an environment where they were never sure of the next moment of affection they become anxious and that makes them insecure when they are when they are getting into a relationship others they go into a relationship but as as soon as the relationship starts getting strong they avoid because they don't want to be rejected so they break the relationship before they actually get hurt okay mm -hmm. so you want first of all to deal with your demons all right you want as an individual to learn where am i coming from and where do i come from affect the way i'm approaching the other person yeah. he said something very important you need to deal with your own personal insecurity because insecurity is your choice oh. you got to heal from it so that's what i would say on this Zinzi, you have to deal with your demons <laughs> now, DNZ, DNZ, there's, something, there's something we're talking about now at some point this they become some torpedo like messages yeah you've been posting things online but you can't you don't have the confidence of confronting it with your partner then now you start seeing some of those messages and you're talking about subliminal messages yes. on social media subtweeting yeah how, how now how now do you deal with that it's a torpedo like message you know e this one is for me i think once in our days of you know this age of memes and this age of stories yeah you know you find just you know a lot of mamas ladies <laughs> and guys what, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. let him explain a, let the boy child explain no. yeah, i'm a feminist raised by a single mom not a chauvinist but like i hang around with a lot of women who are my friends family all that and i just see the subliminal conversations on the stories and i know this one is for me <laughs> like even with my partner and we laugh about it but then I'll, I'll be like yeah you had to post that right? <laughs> you had to post that and i'm a very liberal guy very open so i don't even tell my partner what she can post and what she cannot post and you do you if you want to mulika me mulika me like in isa too and we laugh about it and that's what i think a healthy relationship is at the end of the day should it start with you being able to confront the differences yeah. you have first before going online yeah and and for us we have agreed that we will always raise issues yeah. and raise them together in our safety space yeah. and not out of a position of anger and mm. you do this at the at the point when the iron is still hot or do no, you we wait, can you wait sit for down and cool tell down. her that you know what and we can't talk about this yeah. now let's give it a bit of time because i'm a bit too emotional about yes. it right now yeah. so then i might say things i'll regret and and we've learned that over time because you know initially you, you respond there and then yeah. and then you realize like th this is not a healthy way of fighting this is not a healthy way of raising issues because it doesn't solve the problem yeah. we're just reacting right but when you deal with it you wholesomely everyone is able to to discuss yeah. but there's a very interesting point you talked about banana for giving access to dms yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. guy. <laughs> oh man you can do that, that that's wow. a no do not go there like, a, do not go zone like do not open pandora's boxes in relationships wow. banana you never so know you ha she doesn't have access to your dm uh, and you don't have access to never ever Why? Let me just tell you, insecurity never, ever. no 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 first Why? and foremost like 
what kind of level of trust is this man? Did you not hear how we were talking? Is that the greatest level of trust? You said if you love in the private, it will show in the public. No, you see the DM is a is, is called a private, direct right? message. Ah, <laughs> in <laughs> <books>. <laughs> you know, in even like, let me tell you, let me, yeah. me, me, I come from this thing like, Kitambo, when I was living with my mom, mm-hmm. we used to share a PO box. <laughs> and she and you know like she just called me when I was in high school it was those days of snail mail yeah. yes so I'd give her a letter I seal it I tell her please buy for me a stamp twenty bob twenty three bob and a new care messenger in a tumu in a rudi so she never used to open my so you my mail DMs mm-hmm. with your mom no I'm just saying no 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 she never used to get into my mail she never used to open yeah. so now here you're saying you're giving your spouse or your partner or girlfriend or whatever access to open your mail. Chief, the things you find in the DM, <laughs> but I do not want to, see, even as a guy, let me tell you, I don't want to see those things. Okay. You're, that, you're saying from a, if, if she's your chick, if she's your wife. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter. She's my chick, my wife, my sister, my auntie. Uh-uh. Nobody should access my email. <laughs> even, even if, I, I, like, I'm an employer. Even if, even when I had a personal assistant, they would not access my emails. You don't access my laptop unless I instruct you to. Mm. You took up a moja. Let us, <laughs> let us, you know, sometimes, sometimes we become too co-joined with our partners. Let us let let your partner live their life. You live yours. Let her post what she wants. You post yours. Kabi, where you? Kabi is too that's quiet. A, that's an interesting position oh. that he and his was. And also, Dan will come into this. Mm. Uh, in this, I was already in a book called The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. It says that the uh, wife, husband, and wife should always stand apart, just like the pillars of a house that hold the roof together. Look closely, you'll realize as they stand apart. Mm. And what DNG is saying is actually very true. You live your own different lives. It doesn't mean you're trying to cheat or anything, but you just want to live your separate lives, handle things on your own way. Because when you start looking for things, you will find them. You can end up with DM, those people were insisting. Nice. Yeah, the nice guys. That's what you do. For us, we also have uh, shared accounts. In fact, I have a account on my phone. She has my account on her phone. I can go to the DM. Listen, this is the difference between what we have. I'm not going into the DM to check out who has inboxed her, who has said what about her, who loves Sijui her hair, her thighs. No. <laughs> Me have just said it's it's some level of transparency that I don't really care. And most of the time you'll find that I have the DMs, but I won't even open them. And if I open them, then Probably the, the, the things that I might open are business uh, DMs. I'll tell her, Nani has inboxed you. There's no that one DM which you saw and you're thinking, no, this no. one in Nani Ita. See, 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 again, again. Ita Zina. again. He's <laughs> <laughs> <Mimi, laughs> just calling your name. You're like, hey, this one. <laughs> it comes in right at the moment when you're there. Ding, ding. And yeah. you're like, hey, hey, <laughs> this one is God sent. <laughs> when, when we were dating, there is something that uh, we, we just decided that we have nothing to hide. Yeah. Even when Umekatiwa, like kujo tu niambie mazee uchalia na ditsubua unajua aina hiyo the moment you get into that place where you're just you and that other person you and that private car conversation you are vulnerable to actually fall so for us it is to be open and not because we don't trust each other but it is just we are we tunalala kwa kitana sasa simu simu kitana tunaamuka na kuona ukiingia bafu sasa simu dm iko na nini mpya these are not new thing so me i'm not afraid and and and, and wow. i can yani mimi mpaka naweza mjibia chalia naweza ongea hapo nimwambia ati oh hi you look so beautiful thank you so much god bless you <laughs> Okay, Dan, what do you think? Uh, you, as, as, just to agree with what it is that he said, yeah. you know, you share a bed together, you share children together, you even share finances together. Mm. Uh, and so I, I agree, access does not mean snooping. Yeah. Access means in case of anything, you can actually access. And sometimes even some of us, we are dying and our spouses don't even know our belt. Yeah. Don't even know what it is that we have, don't even know nothing about it. So now we have wives who actually husband or husbands who are going to court cases, all these particular things and whatnot, just to get something that we are supposed to have together. How but what date? about the privacy that the, 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 the about, privacy yeah. let, let me say this. You're entitled to your own social life. You yes. know, I have my own friends, my wife has her own friends and whatnot. That's 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 and, and sometimes also knowing like, oh that's her friend is this one mm. and her friend is that one. Mm. So she doesn't come as a shocker when maybe she, she says like I've gone 
to be with this kind of friend. I'm, I'm not shocked about that. So yeah. they can even talk and whatnot. So we're giving each other that space. And again, I say access does not mean snobbing. Mm. Access just means that level of transparency mm. uh, in, in case of anything. For example, I've given in our instances where, because she, she can be very busy and tied up somewhere and she needs me to attend to something. Then so you volume like, yeah. Yeah. Access yeah. doesn't mean snobbing. <laughs> 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 you volume <laughs> fire, <laughs> sana. Yeah. You volume, you, volume <laughs> 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 you know what they say, even with your pin. Pin yako siri? Wow. <laughs> like for me, no one has my pin banner. Yeah. Never. <laughs> I can never give anybody my pin. It doesn't matter who you are. Even my, my, my daughter, like she comes and she wants to play with my phone. My phone is those ones for boundaries. Please. Like, I don't know. It's just the way I am. Even my laptop. I don't like people using my machine. I do not like to share the things I work with on a daily basis. Obviously, and as a tumor to sing in a client, but beyond that, you know, I think your space is your space. Get it. And and don't take it, don't get it twisted. Like, I'm not saying at Isasa and your Sasa and Nikwena freedom, you have to find a way But no, do not share these things. Like, live your life, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, even if you hear how uh, women talk, my husband, he wants to know how much money I earn. And now, if let's say, let me say, let's say, like, if if your spouse knows your wealth and she's trying to hide stuff from you, she'll open another account and not tell you about it. So these things guys are talking about transparency and in people are never fully 100% transparent. Mm. Let, let me say no. something about that. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. There are principles and then there are patterns. Yeah. Principle of relationship is openness, transparency, trust. Yes. Pattern is how you choose to go about it. Mm -hmm. For some, for example, like for example, him and him and I, we choose to be open in that particular transparent level when it comes to even access to whatnot. That's our pattern. We are not insisting on telling everybody that's how you're supposed to do it. If you find a pattern that works for you and you still maintain the principle of trust and transparency, that's for you because no relationship or marriage is the same. But the principles are key. But does the jurisdiction yes. and the territory area matter because someone like DNG is yes. a public figure yes. so and it can't be rude to people there are some yes. people who actually push him a bit more yeah so the, if the spouse reads the DM a DM she'll be like I will look when I'm entertained and him is trying to explain and say that I just can't be rude to people I was just trying to handle this one but imagine I imagine if the spouse knows that ah you know this is the nature of your profession and because you're a public person maybe this by the by the time the spouse says yes to him already the spouse knows that he's good looking is all the kind of things so of course there'll be that attention mm -hmm. and because when you're taken, usually you get a lot of attention. Sure. People love taking people. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like, hey, you're looking good. Somebody's, uh, you know, you're looking all loved up and what so you're glowing because somebody's loving you up. Yeah. And that's attractive. No, and because that attracts all. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, you, yeah, there, there's some people who've never been hit on. They, they, they get into a relationship. You know, I've been loving you all along. <laughs> you're my high school sweetheart. You're like, where, where are, are you when I was single? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm taking you, you're coming to my dear and tell me all this wonderful stuff. Yeah. Why? Because taken people tend to be attractive. So of course, be prepared for those kind of remarks. Yes. Be prepared for your wife to walk and some, uh, some guys are, are going to check her out. Mm -hmm. Some guys are, but you know what? I want to cool out macho. What do you Yeah. 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 They can check. They can see. They can admire. For me, I don't okay. mind when men tell my wife she's beautiful because it's the fact. Mm. Yeah. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. We really have to take a break now. Yeah. So when you see that, yeah. guess what? I saw that before you. Yeah. I'm with her. So <laughs> you. It's <laughs> <Bang it. laughs> All right. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, we talk about the secrets of marriage. In fact, Diana talked about it. But first, let's see what you're saying online on 224222 at Citizen TV Kenya. Trevor Bijat Zinzi underscore K. You don't leave a name and where you're texting from. But you say posting relationships on social media is not bad since one can share ideas with others about relationships. Hmm. Jerry, you say personally, as an educator I don't advocate for people sharing love life on social media reasons being you're putting yourself in a situation when then when this relationship doesn't work people will attack you also what are you trying to prove to the world when you meet did you involve social media you continue to say that's a very good question the most annoying part is when a couple are having issues and you know then they are busy posting it on social media instead of ironing it out you just wonder how they are expecting netizens wow. to help them that's the end more often than that than more often than, than not. those yes who show that their love life is rosy are not happy hmm. okay interesting sentiments there from Jerry 
let's see what you're saying also on Twitter Kennedy Atinda says for me my wife Winnie Akoko Atinda wow all the three names hey, and daughter hey. K K and daughter Kimberly Atinda we take a lot of pride in exposing our affection and oneness on social media platform because our love was and is rooted in God all right Harin Zau Good morning. I trust my girlfriend, but getting access to my account never. And you are DNG. I also don't need to. I also don't need hers. Let everyone leave theirs. Um, I don't want unnecessary stress. Wow. Yes. When you look for something, you will get it. Usi tafute achana tunai. And on that note, I believe we take a quick break. We'll come back with the secrets of uh, marriage and also Juakali is here, mm. just at the tail end of the discussion. With Lilia Sego. Yep, we'll yes. find out about them and what they do. When it's too much and too much, how they've balanced their marriage in just a little bit. Stay with us. I thank you for staying with Daybreak. We're getting into the final bit of the conversation, the 21st century, dealing with marriage in the 21st century. The question we had asked you, should you share your love life on social media? 224 is the SMS line at Trevor Mbija at Zinzi underscore K at Citizen TV Kenya. Hashtag Daybreak. We have another couple in the house who just came in. Juakali! Gili ni Karibu sana. Majwa ni ate. Kitu yote na wambia leo. Kitu wambia utashare live life yako kwa social media. I haven't seen. Actually, Lili Asigo is here. Yes. This is the first time Mata Mimu Kwanza na Mwana. Yes. Who is Lili to you? Tell Kenya. Tuanzi hafu Kwanza. Uni wife. Bibi. Kwa vile wa genge wa. Uni wife. Like, but how come mm -hmm. you have on social media mara mingi sana sana? Do you share your love life? Atajibu, atajibu yo swali. Kwa nina mekwa chini ya maji? Na wewe, wewe bukwa ze jibu. Ni jibu. Do you post pictures of her? Yes, I do. Do you tag her in them? Yes, I do. Would you advise anyone to do that? Noja, kabili wingi, eh? Tukwa tunonge history ya kushare love life on social media. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Okay. Yetu neza sema, neza sema... Aiko, aiko, aiko all over. Yani atu, atu splash ile on your face. Mm. Yeah, but it's just subtle ile. Size chini ya maji. Yeah. <laughs> okay, si chini ya maji, mm. kiasi. Mm. Eh, si ile sasa ni, ni shugli ya kila siku sasa. <laughs> <laughs> ni ile tu size yake. Mm. Kwa ni unamuwe hivyo, mbondo usi yake tu love life yako. Kwa we, we ni celebrity, so watu wanataka yes. kujua una mpangaje, maisha naenda vipi, muna pendana kiasi gani, yeah. kuna watu hii wamefika bado, tunenda rurashua, tuendi, kuna wedding, haiko, vituka hizo. Kwa ni unamuwe kulimit, kenyu na post? Okay, kusabu pia kuna shugli zengine. Mm. Okay. Unajua, unajua, unajua. And they just oh, love the way the gang and the gym. Hey, what's it? No, they love, eh. Yeah. Oh, it's like one of the part. The musician part. Yeah. One of the father's part. One yeah. of the husband. One of the... So, Zote lazima nigusie. Kiasi. Yeah. yeah. Kiasi. Yeah. Kiasi. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Lily, I love Kiriaji's story. Lily, what do you think? Is it a good idea to post your love life on social media? And how have you managed to wade that? balance mm -hmm. so that having it's not been too married much. to someone who is in the public yeah. eye first of all thank you um citizen for having me thank you natural hair i look natural hair <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, look <laughs> <good>. <laughs> I would say um you can post if you want yeah if you don't want don't post and at the same time you see some people like me meaning to maji so most of the time he wants to post me and i'm like Ah, nyo lango ikai vizuri, ni i angol ni mesimama ni mbaya, then he's like, ah, I won't even post all together. So at times it depends. I need to edit the photo a bit, leaning to me, a la fwa post. Mgenge ya na post. Iyo niko comfortable. Post. Iyo niko comfortable, but just because hani post every day, it doesn't mean marriage ni mbaya, ama relationship in a fail. Most of the times, are in fact, to go happy. Kabisa. Do you have access to his DM. DMs and does he have access yes. to your DMs? Eh? He doesn't have access to my DMs. He's not interested. <laughs> <laughs> but you have access to his? Yes. I DMG. have access. Kwapi? Eh. Oh. You volume. You volume. <laughs> I have access to his. But he doesn't have and access to your DM? Because he Out of lack of interest. He's never asked. But I had to ask. I was not just given. What made Why? you ask? Um, <laughs> <laughs> with obvious reason. <laughs> no, 
Mgenge lazima iko kona leash. Hivi atiliwa tu sana. Ah unajua mtu akikwambia ko faithful. Yeah. Una mtrust, si ndio? Mm. But kuna ile watu kama mimi tunataka evidence. <laughs> like Proof. I need to know. Yes, I need to In God we trust you. everybody else you bring data. <laughs> yes. Yes. So hata <laughs> nikienda kwa hiyo DM kuna zile kama vile uh, Kabi amesema. Yeah. You way kuna zenye utajibu, kuna zenye utaangalia, kuna zenye uta question. So most of the time <clears throat> me question. Naangalia <laughs> nikiona the most is like it is a question too. <laughs> yeah, nikiona mtu ame insist cuz yeah. unataka wengine wao wana insist. Our watch so kiona hivyo you like either reply mo namuliza okay u nae shida yeah, gani yeah. yeah. cuz you find when he's going to perform in Kisumu when he goes to Mombasa the fans there wana win box oh i can't wait to see you so ukiwa pia mtu mbaya hiyo can't wait to see you unaweza fikiria they've been planning to meet but it's just a fan who's the, over there na mejo anakuja so anaenda kwa, kwa inbox so oh, can we to see you can any okay that is not bad cuz at the end of the day and i need fans yeah. our fans don't am jenga so uh, kuko na password simba at least mhm nimeweza na niko na shock up so <laughs> <laughs> well, let me come to you mr masinde over yes, there cuz yes. you know when we took the commercial break Trevor said that we will discuss the tricks the tips the secrets, the, of secrets of the secrets of marriage. Secrets of marriage. One of them was communication. Yes. Take it off. So communication is very, very key. I, I will start by saying, when your heart say that your heart, don't post it online. Eh? Go and talk to your to your to your partner, candle, when and approach it with a, with an affectionate word. I call my wife my darling, my honey. So if I if I feel like she's done something not right, I'll be like, honey, I love you. But. It's something that not but don't say but <laughs> <laughs> and so you you assure the person that yeah. you love them and that you're coming from a place of love so that now your correction comes uh, is easily received mm. and then now learn to talk learn to inve invest time make time for each other a lot of people whenever i have seminars for married couples i tell them take out your phone and then you scroll through your phone where you chat with your spouse a lot of them get shocked the only messages i see are okay tokens in Asia. Pay, uh, we won't do this. There's no affectionate words. Eh? So in other words, they're not talking. They're not communicating. They're only focusing on chores, responsibilities, and projects. They're talking. Yeah, and then tokens. <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> and tokens. So I want you, and when you, when, so that's you and your spouse, or you and your partner. But then you go to another DM. Hey, sh the things that now you're talking to that other person, they're more affectionate than with your spouse. Yeah. You're telling that person, how was your day? My day was good, how was yours? Hey, that dress you wore was looking. But you don't have those conversations with your partner. So that means there's a communication breakdown. So channel that energy to your partner, to your spouse. That's another thing. And then another thing is take care of your emotions because a lot of the times we, we communicate out of fear. And anything that you do out of fear doesn't end up well. It backfires on you. So communicate with love. Right, I also want to hear from Dominic. So his is communication and uh, communication and, and being open and being open mm. for you what do you think as a psychologist from a psychologist psychologist perspective uh, I think for me it's conflict huh? so the there, there are four things that I think are very important. The first one is uh, religion. Let me talk about religion. The things that cause uh, conflict in my, in my perspective. The first thing is religion. Mm. You know, when we are dating, we think, uh, you, you are, uh, that's a uh, denomination, I'm this denomination, we'll figure it out. Yeah. But once these things start ebbing down and the relationship gets now to the concrete itself, we start having a fight now. So mm. first thing that comes is religion. So talk about religion, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Second one is in-laws. Mm. How long will in-laws come to stay in our house? Mm -hmm. Will they inform us when they come? Yeah. You know? Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, are, they, are we the ones to provide transport mm -hmm. when they do come, mm -hmm. right? So, <laughs> so <laughs> all these in-laws. Number three is finances, mm -hmm. right? That's for me. That comes quite often, all right? So, as uh, DNG was saying, if you want to open a, a private account, it, it can happen that you will open, right? So, finances. And number four, sex, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, uh, that is it's a big deal. You know, it it helps to to glue things together. Mm -hmm. So, I think uh, to Ponguza Mzigo, all right? <laughs> now, DNG may approve your volume. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 about DMs, this is what I would say. Some, the, the reason you want this person in your life, mm -hmm. unless you don't love yourself very much, is because you are saying this person is good for me and this person is going, going to make me better. So as a man, I could be chatting with a girl on, on WhatsApp or on, on, on my DM thinking it's just a conversation. But if I show the same conversation to my girlfriend, you'd be like, no, she is actually hitting on you. Mm. So that's what you want, unless you do not trust the person very how, much. That's how we date in the 21st century? Has that changed as opposed to how our parents courted? Well, see, the thing is, uh, virtual reality is very impersonal, right? Now, uh, when we talk about communication, you talk about this, uh, the, the three 
things that involve communication. The first one is words. Now, words take only 7%, 7% of the total communication. 43% is taken by the emotion and the pitch of the voice, how you express yourself. And 50% is body language. So 93% is not communicated via social media. 93% the emotion and body language. So that's what happens when you're speaking to someone on social media, you're only using 7% of the necessary right. Right. requirements of communication. Mm -hmm. So you are interpreting. So you could be telling a person you are laughing by an emoji. Yeah. You're actually <laughs> not, not laughing. laughing. <laughs> you know? You know? So it, and, that, and that becomes a problem because then you tend to think that the person is perfect and then you meet them in reality and those two things don't match at all. Mm. Okay, so mm. social media makes uh, necessary steps, necessary baby steps move too fast and that is not a good thing because when you skip necessary steps, it's like moving from a nursery school all the way to the university, you cannot handle it. So that's what I would say. Sometimes social media facilitates, you know, makes things faster than they should, necessarily should be. Yep. Oh, wow. Mm. Fascinating. Gabi, we were just about to wrap up on this. We, we, what have you learned over time in terms of marriage? Now we're talking about marital advice here. Secrets of marriage, Ninini. Uh, for me, first of all, I just have realized that it is very easy to be happy. You just need to love uh, your partner. I think for me, in a relationship, don't go into the relationship to receive, go to give. So that you're always ready to give and you're not looking for what, is, what am I not getting, what is she not doing right, you know. So always be ready to receive, uh, to give and not to receive. Also, I've learned that uh, it is good that you create your own culture. As, as all of us have said, if we all have different opinions. So if DMs work for you, then create that culture around that. If it doesn't work for you, then that's okay. The other thing that is very important for me, as you mentioned religion, I think for me, uh, putting God first in your relationship is important because we believe that God is the author of relationships. So if you can trust in God and if you can love, like you can give yourself to like Jesus and be able to, you know, humble yourself to that level, then I'm sure you'll be able to love someone else. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Lily, over time, when you knew Melan for marriage, what have you learned? There is no manual. <laughs> Just everyone is different. Yeah. So learn your partner, what they like, what they don't like. Um, put God first, as Kabi has said. And um, be open. Solve your issues as they come. Yeah. yeah, don't be shock Yes. Especially you, it would be much more difficult yes. because you have space here. Yeah. Uh, entertainment, public, right. Yes. Entertainment yes. industry. Yeah. Uh, okay, you have to balance. Okay, you have to say that you catch. Lily says that you catch. You have to say that you have to say that you have to say that you have to say that. How do you handle it? Okay, you have to say that Oje tuko pamoja most of the time. Yeah. So yeye yeah, tamuna tu face yake makasirika. Yeye unajua tu yeye mjam. Oje tu kuna noma. But but basically nadhani the more the more unakana mtu kwa kwa hao ama mnaishi pamoja the more mna mnajuana. Mm -hmm. Unajua. So kuna ile inafika mahali maturity ndio kitu itawa itawa save. Vile mna handle hizo noma so before before mkingia kwa relationship vile mtu alikuwa na handle story flani maybe mtu ana matusi maybe ku fight nini yeah. but the more mnaendelea mnaanza ku handle vitu vi different watu wanakuwa mature watu wanaanza kuongea unaona so hiyo communication very very important yeah. the level of yani mnajua hapa kwa sababu jo tuko na tuko na watu wii tuko na ma in-laws nani unaona so lazima hii ni kitu ni kitu tumejua ni kitu ya milele mm. so lazima tu handle in a way aita leta aita leta no una handle large boundaries mnaongea mnasikizana ti hapa hivi hapo sasa umeenda sana ama inakuaje uja ikifika mahali kwa 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 argument definitely mtaambia na eh hapa ama tu mwenyewe tu utaona eh hapa hapa noma but ni kitu ni kitu ina take time yeah. have you had Ayezi, to i work to yani ni kitu na take ina take kata zaidi ya 5 6 years ni kitu yezi ya mwezi inge tu kwa hao na Kila kitu iko sawa. Mm. Ni kitu lazima mwako, mwako, mwako. Have you ever had to scold a, f a, a, a fan online mm. for a comment that was made towards your wife Lily? Mtu acha yonge ambaye kwa sababu ya even though you're a fan, you yes. come and it's just inappropriate. Ah, uh, okay, nadhani ilikuwa the other way around. Kwa sababu mm -hmm. uh, 
hakuna hakuna fan wangu wa shonge ambaye juu yake but ilikuwa there they are around mm. fans alikuwa kuna fan moja and then two kichwa kile kimeruka alikuwa anaongea mbaya juu yangu so wife akakuja kani defend hapo noma ndio <laughs> 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 noma ikaishi hapo eh, but as for as for fans fans wangu hakuna wote ila sha ashonge ambaye juu yake mm. okay yes. dng yes volume yako sasa tutataka kuisikia mimi nasema tu okay first me at see expert at nimesoma maneno ya relationship in fact nilikuwa na relationship na kafeli yani but currently i'm in one that is really working and i'm so happy and unaona paka nimejaza yani come on elis but let me say um what's working for me is realness yeah that's true like me i'm just you see the way i am today is the way i'm with my mama the way i'm with my family everyone knows me for who i am yeah. so a lot of times we you know issues come up when you pretend to be someone who you're not mm -hmm. and then your real self starts to show and then there's drama so for me i'm just real and and i encourage also my my spouse to be real with me yeah. so i know who she is and she knows who i am and we we accept each other for who we are something else that's working is you know we made a very firm commitment that we are in it for the long term yeah so that you know a lot of times when there's issues we always think of exit exit or we check into a relationship with exit plan so for us we've come because i'm not you know trying to get a hook up with another chick today mm. tomorrow so for us it's long term and we we're planning towards that and we're working towards that actively so when issues come we know that we'll address these issues but we are together because we're talking about modern dating and mod modern marriage have yeah. you had this conversation with her already how where it is the one where we, what are we doing where are we going what is yeah this? in the beginning yes in the beginning so i was very clear what i wanted um she was also very clear what she wanted we've talked about our goals mm -hmm. and how to align those together you know so we are, we we're planning to, towards a long term together as one and and that's really helping our relationship and once you real and you you you're committed and you talk about stuff you articulate issues and also knowing that you, you know how to pick your fights it's not every time that you must respond to something truly relax cheza chini kuna mzee mmoja aliniambia hizi vitu za relationship warakshangi cheza chini so you know like even if i'm pissed i don't have to show you i'm pissed na lenga tu and it's not like we're sweeping any issue under the carpet but you know that this one doesn't deserve our attention yeah. and that's what i was saying with the pandora's box keep your life so simple or your relationship so simple that you don't have to have all every time you're putting out fires mm. the dm what 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 relax so me me come me i'm a busy girl like juakali yani niko niko busy niko na hustle na tafuta clients nini sina time ya eh what is this eh who is this who has texted you screenshot you know you fala miss na time have to come my so hata dem yangu anajua like usiniambie vitu kama hizo like ndio watu wanazichukua kuna ma memes nini lakini tuzi address ama tusi address ni ujinga na tuna kwanza yeye ndo mtu wa kwanza kuniambia hebu cheki Kenya mtu amenitumia tunacheka so we've put it like she knows who i am she knows what i do she knows like mama's love me you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like like it doesn't become a crisis in our relationship hata ni dem ameiva hata tunachekanga kwanza sasa inafanya hii ni shoot yangu ya punguza yeah we're talking about responsible sexual behavior rights and access to health facilities so we have been addressing even the lgbtiq question hata wasema batman wana hala hapo maze wana wana ni wana tuma questions nini so tunacheka ngapa moja like hey hey abu we una umse ame ni inbox you know and we laugh about it and we talk to them and obviously you know i respond to them because a lot of them are struggling yeah we can't get over it so i can't say but my voice this is so bad so like what one has struggled on rights the ngi tafanyaje mimi spend my day that's what our initiative is about by the way for the ke instagram facebook twitter dash cool then by the way jackal just not happy at the body man you know i just just when you kiss when you joke like say makiasi everything is about balance eh yeah. everything is about balance and i need to tell people there's more to life than marriage mm -hmm. there's more to life the, yeah sindio mm -hmm. <laughs> even myself as a marriage cuz i want i need to tell you that there's more to life than marriage so let's not make our entire existence be about that romantic
romantic relationship. Some of us, we're just focusing on what, that one relationship, even forgetting our parents, yeah. our siblings, yeah. our children, our friends, and the society. So there's more to life than that. Yeah. That's number one. Number two is that love is very simple. Don't complicate it. Love is very simple. And even with technology, like right now we're talking about technology, wait until what our kids are going to do when they're grown up. Right. Yeah. It's going to be so, so as a parent, learn how social media works because you're going to be the one who has going, who's going to now walk your kids towards that mm. because we cannot run away from social media. It is our, our current uh, situation right now. It's, it's actually going to go deeper and deeper in terms of our digital footprint for all of, all of us. And so love is very simple. Don't complicate it. And love never runs out of fashion. Kabi, love never runs out of fashion. Kabi, there's one specific question I have to ask you mm -hmm. because, you know, First Lady is expectant. The whole world knows it because it's on social media. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do what we've seen with other celebrities where they open a page, an Instagram, Facebook page for their daughters and perhaps who's not even <laughs> born yet? Uh, the Wajizas family is a family. So what we do, uh, we want to incorporate everything we do as a family. So if the baby comes and the baby is coming to the family, so there is some point of privacy that we'll try to give the baby, but he will have to get into the space. The family business. You have to get <laughs> the family business. There were Jesus family <laughs> and get into the business, but we will try to give him a balance. Akifika mali, sasa ako age na nasikia kutoka. I hand it. Lakini sahi, I hold the consent, but we are, we are just praying that God is going to give us guidance to understand to what level do we share about our kid. Right. Even that about the, the page, you've not actually just decided, but we've said we post the kid probably on our, on our there were Jesus family pages, but not necessarily open an account for them. But we be at Jui, Ikpia Ikidai, Itaenda Ikiendang. Okay. Ukifungo account yake. Usi post yeah. uh, ile caption moja anasema eh hey, i pampa ni poa I love daddy and mommy <laughs> I love you daddy and mommy yeah so because the reason we would have we would open an account is not to talk to people as the kid because yeah. I mean yeah, to yeah, I see yeah, now, okay. but it is probably to create an album for mm. them so atane inaweza kuwa na ikuwe private ama isikuwe just to make sure that we share content yeah. that is sequential leading to the future mm. okay yeah. Brilliant. I, so, I believe that's where we have to yeah, leave it. Yeah, we for have now. to wrap up yeah. the conversation. Thank you, everyone, for being here and sharing Sentinel your comments Sam. as well. You've been amazing. Let's take a look at feedback. Remember, on social media, we were asking you how much of your love life do you share on social media? You have to be careful with that sentence today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's take a look at your feedback at Citizen TV. Kenya, that's um, us on Twitter. Steve, you say, I met her. Hmm. Well, I met her while she was in Form 1 and I had just left high school. She was my first girlfriend till we married. We were very open and transparent, but we don't post it on social media. You continue to tell us that she knows all my pins, passwords, ATM. Ah, DNG is shaking his head. She even moves out with my phone. Oh, in case I leave this world, then she can have access to all my accounts. But social media, love, apana. Mungu alisema ibaki bedroom. Okay. Hey, all right, all right. Jerry's Jerry. back. Yes, Jerry is back again. Jerry Kibunja says it's important to be your spouse's best friend. And it is really sad that some families suffer when the spouse dies due to his or her secrecy. E.g. the family cannot access their finances. Hence the property lands in the hands of trustees. Be open. He or she loved you how you are. Trust and being open goes a long way. Sadly, that's why most relationships are failing nowadays. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. okay, Dr. Ogonda, good morning. You say, I like the summary. Every relationship is unique. What works for me is a no-go zone for others. Understand your spouse and agree on your own rules. Mm. Hilary <laughs> says, thanks for the talk show, guys. Could not have come at a better time. We've just moved in together and we are ready to soar up as one. Brilliant. When is it <laughs> the right time to talk matters money? considering we are both working. Well, did you not discuss it Diane, before you moved out? Yeah, I mean, Being no, 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 no. I mean, yeah. that person is inspired by the show. I think yeah. Diane should answer that really quick. Yeah, but my question is... At what is, point do they talk about finances? Yet they've already moved in together. Yeah, How do they, you make a decision to move in together without discussing finances? Every, every relationship is unique. Wow. Diane. <laughs> <laughs>
it's never too late to talk about issues. You know, yeah. for, for me, I would, I would recommend premarital counseling before you get married. But even if you got married without premarital counseling, mm. it's never too late to iron out issues so that right. you can agree. Hillary yeah. says, okay, we've That's answered Hillary's Hillary, question. Hillary, you've just been answered now. Yeah. You don't say who you are, but you say being transparent to your girl isn't bad. But about sharing accounts, I can't advocate for it. At times, man's phone is like an onion. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> 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 and whenever you open it, you must cry. You need to see me at the end. That is it. Oh my God! Oh, you are just amazing this morning. No, Let's see what he's saying. <laughs> Let's see what he's saying on Twitter. Kennedy Atinda he said, "Deep relationships and great marriages happen due to tough times you navigate together." And for me, I love sharing the rocky situations we have gone together as a family, which I don't consider sinful. Wow! All right, Governor Two Five Four, common courtesy plays a big role in happy marriages. People who are permanently married are polite to one another. They don't want to hurt one another's feelings, and they don't try to make the other one feel humiliated you could you to say that love doesn't just sit there like a stone it has to be made like bread we made all the time made new but marriage goes in waves you've got to be patient people bail and give up on their marriages way too early <laughs> this advice they just don't put the work and the effort into it you've got to suck up your e to your ego um, a lot of times because that can be a big downfall check your ego that's yes. according to governor 254 <laughs> All right, that's where we leave this conversation. Thank you so much. You've been amazing this morning. And also our panelists here for sharing. Asantini Sana, Juakali. Kuna ngomba mpia na kapa? Eh, album. 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 Thank you for coming with your wife. Yes, this is the first time I've actually seen Lily. Yes, ndio hiyo. Inaweza. Inaweza. Sana. Anaweza. Anaweza. All right, thank you so much. That's where we leave the show. Coming up now is Web Wars, I believe. Yes, Kimani Mbuga tells us what's been happening online. He says... Some couple broke up and it became a big deal. Yes. I can't wait to hear about this. The but only need laws had a lot to say. Hmm. We'll see that. <laughs>